It's been more than three decades since Christopher Plummer and Julie Andrews teamed up for the classic The Sound of Music. Now the two are reuniting. Our national correspondent Hattie Kaufman caught up with Andrews and Plummer in Hollywood, where they're rehearsing for a live television production of On Golden Pond. Pop her up. <laughs> Julie Andrews and Christopher Plummer together again. It's as if they were never apart. Nothing has changed. We have the same fun. She's the same person that she was hundreds of years ago. She's the same modest professional and the same unbelievably difficult person to work with. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I see you grabbing his hand. We have this, yes. And I gave him a lot, too. Shut up. And, this, and we have the same jokey things we used to do and the same irreverence. Actually, I'm playing the character I used to be, an ir irreverent, <laughs> terrible, sardonic oh, yes. idiot who is angry and disgruntled and all the time and, and has this cantankerous humor. <laughs> We're not middle-aged, you're old, and I'm ancient. Oh, poo. You're in your 70s, and I'm in my 60s. It's barely on both counts. Would you like to spend the rest of the afternoon quibbling about this? We can if you like. <laughs> you may be familiar with the movie version of On Golden Pond, starring Henry Fonda and Katherine Hepburn, a sentimental story of a couple in the twilight of their lives. But what you'll see on TV differs from the film in that it's a live production based on the original play. It's so different. It's tough. It's unsentimental it's got edge it's got mighty edge to yeah. it is it uh, courageous or is it daredevil to take this on both both courageous and, daredevil. and foolish <laughs> right <laughs> what kind of challenge do you face as an actor going on as if it were a stage production yet there is no audience does that bring something out of your we performance? also have something like eight or nine cameras uh, dancing around us mm. at all times. that's our audience waltzing around yes 36 years ago, it was Plummer and Andrews who did the waltzing in The Sound of Music. The Academy Award-winning musical became one of the most beloved films of all time. I don't wish you to discuss my children in this manner. Well, you've got to hear from someone. You're never home long enough I said to know I them. don't want to hear any more from you about I my children. I know you don't, but you've got to. Was it a kind of a, a blessing or a curse to be so successful so early? and then be associated with that role forever. A blessing. You really? couldn't say that a film that gave so much pleasure and that gave me so much pleasure to do could be a curse. You know, it's just wonderful to have been associated with something like that. I'm hugely grateful. Yes, and so, and so am I. I know that I was particularly irreverent about the piece many times, but I, underneath it all, I am grateful for it because it, it certainly didn't hurt my career in any way. It, 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 helped, it helped it, particularly in my long association in the theatre. It sold so many more tickets than I would, <laughs> than I would, have, <laughs> would have hoped for had I not done it. Uh -huh. The hills fill my heart with the sound of music. Julie Andrews literally sang her way into the world's heart. But in 1997, a throat operation to remove a small, non-cancerous growth robbed Andrews of her singing voice. The voice that years before saved her from a shy, gawky childhood. My parents were uh, all over the place and touring and traveling and, and at times non-functional and I think it, singing gave me a feeling of being special when I could have felt very, very lost. So I'm hugely grateful for it. Oh God, I've never heard you say that. That's fascinating. Yeah. Why do we have to go on some public show to hear these big <laughs> things? Uh, You're getting more, to know her. Well, well stick around. With me. If you just would come around more often, around, yeah. you know, <laughs> I could tell you all these things. Yeah. For The Early Show, Hattie Kaufman, CBS News, Los Angeles.